unspottable. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, I'm totally spotted on this trailer. Holy shit, that's black. What log book? I gotta go spot something. Oh fuck, I broke it. Holy shit, that's heavy, but I got this. I hope Blaine didn't see that. Yeah, it's supposed to do that, it's doing a burn. Spotswell is my middle name. I got a permit. Matter of fact, I got two, it's so heavy. Do you have something that needs spot? Morning. Morning, morning, morning. Well, it's not really a good morning or anything. It's just a morning. Kind of feel blah today. Blah. Let's get this out of here. I need a deep cleaning day. Before you hit the camera, Junior. I love having these floor mats, but you're a pain. All depending on what chair you rock. Since I got a different seat, if it's designed to sit around the Kenworth seat. I didn't have this problem with my road train truck. I should actually, I keep thinking about it when I, next time I clean the floor is that I'm going to put something under there. I know lots of people rock your extra floor mat, they cut out some form of rubber to fit everything. I'm just like, well then you're just washing twice as much, really, but it just needs a good vacuum and a good clean. Just unmotivated to be that clean anymore these days. Don't know what it is. So today we get to go and hang out with the big boys. Mullins moving a rig from Oh boy. It's hard to do with A hand. Got a rig coming from Nisku going to Grand Prairie. And uh, after that, we're gonna be south on 40 from Grand Prairie, where we're taking the rig from Nisku to, and then uh, after that, stop at another rig not too far from where we're taking this one to. And uh, take it to another location too. So it's kinda like two rig moves in one. Kinda. If you get my drift there. Everybody take a load from Nisku. Go to the new location. Unload. Hit the rig on the way home. Going into, I don't even know where it's gone. It's going from the Husky Road or something to the Amaretta. Which I don't. Or Muskeg Corner, somewhere, somewhere in all that sweet area. My old stomp grounds, my first place where I learned to pretty much draw. Which that's, I've been learning to drive ever since I sat in the passenger seat, so I guess that's kind of a lie. Pay attention, Junior. But yeah, when I first, when I got, I got my class three when I was living in Grand Prairie. Lived there for like three years. Batteries. And finally convinced my wife that I wanted to get my license. Cause she's like, I don't want to be married to a truck driver. I'm like, it's not like that, babe. It's not like these highway guys that are 
No offense, uh, not everybody is that way, but my wife's got a mystique that, you know, we're all 100 pounds overweight and just gross. Folds full of, like, Cheetos. I don't know, that's not true. That's just the mystique that they put on on the internet. It's not even true. stuff I was supposed to do next week is all of a sudden ready. It's go time. So I get cut short of the glory. No forestry trunk road, no Amaretto road, no Husky road, no Muscat corner, no ghost, no bush cruise. I'm just gonna pick up the load in Nisku, take it to the Edson shop, drop it off and return to sender kind of pissed about it because I made this huge lunch. Not that I won't eat it eventually, but I'm going to be stuck on this frack doing all that stuff until it's done. I won't be able to go anywhere because constantly every day. Oh, I need this moved. Four hours. Go out there, move something, come home. The downfall of the job. frustrating. We get all excited to go do something and then boss phones. I'm like, oh no, it's cancelled. Which I would have rather have that than have to drive to Edson than just drive home. But anyways, we'll carry on and uh, get that part done. Maybe we'll pick up something on the way home and take it out there since I'll be coming by. Some stuff's got to come from Drayton to go to Rocky. Some stuff's gotta come from Red Deer and go to Rocky, so. Over the next couple months, it'll be Rocky Mountain House. Hold on to your hats.
take out this load. Make sure the straps are tight. So we got two 48 foot mats, basket, and a suitcase. Which is gonna be a bugger to unload all this weight in the middle of these 48 foot mats. I was hoping I'd be able to get a chain to. Oh, well, that's somewhat there. Go from there up to there. But that's kind of not where I need it. I need it right here. Well, we'll see what it looks like what's coming off the trailer. We'll stabilize it anyway from here to there. Just wanted to, to hold up some of the mat so it's not so much of a load in the middle of a mat. Such a long mat. This will be sticking into the ground a little bit. and It'll make it a little bit unstable possibly. So, got to think ahead, think about that. Okay, the load's good. I guess I could fire a chain through there to here. That'd probably be best. I don't know, nothing's best. I don't think it's all that heavy, I don't know what it weighs. Oh, 20,000 on the trailer and 22 on the truck, so. But it's an important piece. Wouldn't want to flop that over. All because I got to switch out. That's the other part too, is they didn't even line up the mats. I'm like, who did this? How long you guys been doing this? Uh, probably wasn't their fault. Probably put it together with a loader. Yesterday, but wow, seems like as soon as we got the Nisku, it just blew right out. 
double duty. Freaking soaked. Better drink lots of water today. Got your work cut out for you, sir. Faded war Dison. Got a serious case of the pasties on all that, and it ain't from weed. Oh, that's not near enough. I'll be drinking another liter here right away. Okay, well, unload. I'll have to wait to see on the camera how that looked coming off, but it looked like it was pretty stiff. I didn't get out and check because I was scared to see it, so I'm sure maybe it was nothing at all. Say it wasn't that heavy, but to have that much weight in the middle of a 48 foot mat is it's not a good thing. By common sense anyways, but looks like everything was fine there. I probably overchained. I put two on the back, two on the sides, and one on the front. Just I had envisioned that the back would touch down and it would lift up from the mat and make it unstable if I didn't do cross or side chains and then it would like <laughs> flip over or something and then the sheer weight of it slamming down break the mat in half and then it would have been like <sighs> super embarrassing shitty truck driver moment but anyways okay let's go to Rocky
two tanks here for tomorrow morning. There's dirt in the skids. Check out the red sun. That's some stuff, eh? Don't ever say I didn't show you anything. You can see that door over there with all the sweet windows in it? That used to be my bay at Road Train. Totally going on. 
going sideways, but it'll fix itself. There's a bit of a hole. They did weed eating in between. It's really nice. Used to haul coils, this guy, all the time. Road train days. Two four hundreds. I guess we did some that we took to Fort Mac, but it's been a hot moment since I've done any green ones. Thanks for calling. Get me to haul some of your green tanks. Never. All right, we'll chain her down. Get going here. a sign that said auction so I wonder if that's what's going on here this does look like it's set up to be auctioned and this all looks like stuff that is definitely older stuff so it says Baker Hughes on the side I haven't seen any of this stuff around in the field for eons Highly doubt. The city would never rent the shop though. The guy that built my truck works here. All right, this is his shop. Insight. Myron Sanko. Road train truck that is. Let's not be fooled. It wasn't Deca. Some more Terraco yard. Oh look, no train. Nice. Oh, but there's traffic. All right, back to the shop. We get fuel. We'll get fuel, then go back to the shop, and then call it a day. I can't see if you're signaling. You're driving slow as molasses, Grandma. Yeah. Headlights full bright. Couldn't see your signal if I wanted to. 